Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So new Black Widow event just uh, dropped where basically you have to acquire key cards, gather intel and then you get access to rifts and you have these special items that let you select your own prize in a rift and I know for a fact quite many people find this whole thing confusing for now so that's why in this video I'm going to do my best to try and explain the best idea strategy and how to do this event from kind of like start to finish and also uh, how to make sure that you can get a guaranteed awakening gem of the class that you want or all almost guaranteed effectively uh, but so uh, let's just take it step by step and I'm gonna jump right in the game right now and the first thing that you can notice is that there is a special objective and it's called destroyer it awards you with a two-star crystal and a specific key card now defeat target in a quest arena incursion or duel was last seen black widow red by dawn chapter one quest one target was heading northeast so in gaming terms north north would be straight up and east would be to the right so northeast would kind of go uh, up diagonally in between the top and between right so we're gonna try our best now quickly to have a guess so i am in black widow's new event quest i just select master mode so northeast should be this path because it's kind of heading up and to the right and that's exactly uh, where i am heading so hopefully it is going to be the drax and uh, that will give us the key card immediately so then i can just quit the quest and i don't have to finish it uh, but yeah so let's quickly destroy Drax the destroyer <laughs> look at who got destroyed now okay so that uh, was correct guess so Drax is target for today's event so that let me acquire the key card and the two star crystal which is wonderful with which I will simply now exit the quest and once you acquire the key card you gain access to red room ops now all of the key cards are exactly the same all of them take one energy per tile uh, but obviously the harder quest you pick the more intel you get so this is a point where you evaluate how strong your roster is and what you are capable of dealing with I'm for instance now gonna jump in epic we're gonna toss in some uh, more usable champions I guess ooh that's only two stars available hmm that's okay so fair enough we can only use two stars for this quest uh, very interesting. I think that they did mention so I do not have missiles, but I do have deep wounds active, but uh, Hey, it's not even like all the two stars or is it all the two stars that I have? Either way, let's bring in that venom. Let's bring in the carnage. Let's see what the difficulty opponents here are Who else do we want to bring in quake is always a good fail safe mechanism Tar should be good for damage, I guess. And man, I haven't used my two stars in absolutely ages. I guess I'm gonna bring in She Hulk. Either way, let's just jump in and see what happens here. So at this point, uh, have any path to take, I guess. There are no items. So we use our key card. Let's go and quickly bash out this fight. Let's go straight down the middle. Why not? I might as well. And uh, I do not know what this adapter it does, but I think all of them are. Well, either way, let's just go in with Thorn. That shouldn't take us too long. Might need to speed up this bit in video if it takes a while, but uh, hey, Thor is doing a good job so far. His damage output still is absolutely crazy good. Oh, look at that damage. <laughs> hey, it's, all, it, it's good for a two star, I promise. I need to land a parry. He doesn't want to get parried. Okay, so the first fight's over. Uh, that is basically what we're gonna have to do every time we acquire these key cards. So, presumably, like pretty much every day. But the good thing is that I think you can just kind of catch up, you can acquire these key cards at your own pace and uh, then you can use all of them in one go so i don't think it doesn't look like you're gonna have to do this like every day immediately as i come out you can just leave a bit of a backlog i think and should still be just fine okay again let's go for the big damage finisher hopefully stun yes perfect and solid damage here we can move on to the next fights one more fight and that will bring us to the end of the quest. 
Why did I bring in Quake? I don't know. Whatever. Quake, Quake will do it as well. Who doesn't want to watch some Quake play? I mean, that's only the most complained gameplay type on my channel. <laughs> okay, it shouldn't take long. Quake, come on, put in some work. Yes, you can see 55% already. Solid amount of work. Whoa, I got hit as well. Oh, cheeky little monkey. Okay, so now the last fight and that presumably will reward me with some intel that I can use in order to either E access the rifts, which have a difficulty I choose to, or B access the rift for more expensive price with a kind of like a guaranteed reward item, I guess. Uh, I'll explain that bit in a bit. But yeah, so here we can see that I'm f about to finish the quest making solid amount of progress. Oh, except I miss away again. That, that always happens when you try to rush, you just make it worse. And then when he's gonna go fully debuff immune, that's just gonna be bad. I well, got him down halfway, I guess. So now he's debuff immune, so I'm gonna have a very, very bad time, but hey. Should have thought about that when I selected the team, I guess. What? What's wrong? Do I have dexterity on? <laughs> I think I do. Or not. <laughs> nope, I don't have dexterity on. I'm quite positive that I don't have dexterity because I was middle in the middle of changing my mastery set for this account when I must have gotten distracted. So I don't, yeah, I think that was the main problem. I didn't have dexterity on, but uh, hey, fair enough, I guess. Okay, so quest gave me 258 Intel, which we can use at the store. Like now, if we go to the store, uh, there is the tab selecting Intel. Basically, to access the highest uh, difficulty of the Rift, uh, you need 520 Intel. So it's going to be like two days and something. And there's a limit of 18 times. And also, that is what you want to do. You would want to purchase this Intel. I currently obviously don't have enough of it. And then you can go enter a Rift, which would be here in the when quest section. Uh, then you unlock it basically and do whatever it does, which is effectively quest version of opening a crystal. But there is very important thing to note because many people I have heard uh, are probably planning on using this item that lets you choose your reward incorrectly. So by 3000 Intel, you have that dimensional chrono chronometer, whatever, uh, that basically lets you access a different portal inside of the rift and that lets you pick the path that you want and select the reward that you want to obtain by your own choosing not by luck or rng so you always want to have this item on you whenever you enter a new rift in case there is that five star class awakening gem that you are so desperately looking for or any other item that you plan to use this for so the idea how to play the rift kind of like most safely and give you the best possible chance of acquiring the class awakening gem that you want is to purchase this item first and carry it with you every time you enter the rift and use it only when you see that class awakening gem or whatever other item you see in that rift so if you buy this item you're probably gonna have around 15 or 14 chances to enter a specific rift so whenever you enter rift the next time or time after that or five rifts down the line and you see the awakening gem that you want to use it that is the time to use this dimensional chronometer thing and select to use it to open that path to have access to that portal which lets you choose which path you want to do so you do not want to enter in as many rifts as you can and buy this last for instance because once you enter the last rift with this item you're gonna kind of have to use it and 
regardless of what items pop out and spawn in that uh, rift category so you will have no control over which class awakening gem for instance you might want or whatever else so once again this is very important you want to purchase this first if there is a specific reward that you are looking for and then you want to carry this item with you for uh, for every single rift and use it only when you see the class awakening gem that you were looking for then you use this item then you open the second portal basically go teleport to that awakening gem and you have acquired your goal effectively so do not uh, leave it till the end do not ignore it if you're looking for it i definitely think it's worth acquiring this item i also think that you need to do it the first thing so do not jump in the big rift for instance as soon as you see it just wait till you acquire 3000 intel acquire this item and then you can open the rifts as and when you please and use this item only when you see the item uh, the reward that you want and uh, yeah that will pretty much do for today's video i hope this video kind of like made some things more clear so again earn 3000 intel first by finding these targets then buy this 3000 intel item then you can enter any and all rifts that you have enough intel for and once you see the item that you want you use this dimensional chronometer you do not use it before that and you do not leave purchasing this till the very last moment okay all of that being said that is pretty much all that i wanted to say because this video i actually kind of got almost bullied into because of my live stream i got like the questions about the rifts how they're going to work and what should people do i don't know at least uh, 10 times during a live stream so yeah anyway so i figured i'm gonna make the video because the one just started hopefully you guys liked the video and did you did find it helpful if you did then here's a baby yoda because baby yoda makes everything better even my ugly face now that i have gotten rid of my ugly face baby yoda is pure brilliant cuteness if you do not like baby yoda or you did not like today's video well then you can show yourself out and i will not feel bad about it at all Either way, I'm done for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, then, uh, well, awesome. See ya.